Letaba Rest Camp, home of the Elephant Hall, brought to you by the book series Rest Camps of the Kruger Park, in support of Kruger Kids, giving orphan kids the gift of a Kruger Safari. Hello, my name is Marius Smook. I've been a regular visitor to the Kruger Park since way back in the early 1960s. In this video, I'd like to share with you why Letaba is one of my top favorite rest camps. And as a thank you to you for watching, please see late in this video how to download your free volume from my book series, Rest Camps of the Kruger Park. So now, without further ado, let's get started. The Taba Rest Camp is located in the northern Kruger Park between Olifants and Mapani. A riverine oasis in the surrounding Mapani bushveld, it lies on a sweeping southern bank of the Great Letaba River. The camp is slightly elevated and overlooks an ever-changing, spectacular scene of animals coming and going over the extensive and usually dry river sandbanks. The name Letaba means River of Sand. Letaba is a large rest camp that offers 122 accommodation units, plus campsites for tents and caravans. In the heart of Big Five Country, Letaba Rest Camp is surrounded by good roads, popular water holes and spectacular river view sites that make game viewing very rewarding. With so many accommodation units, Letaba certainly offers something for everyone. Included are 85 thatched roof bungalows arranged in tiered semicircles with the riverside semicircles having the best views of the river while the other units are further back. All overlook shaded lawns, making them popular for families with children as it allows them a safe area in which to play. There are also five basic huts in the old traditional rondaval style of years gone by. While having the best direct views of the river, these huts are also popular for some because they are very close to the restaurant. Some bungalows are self-catering with outdoor furniture, kitchenettes and cooking and eating utensils while others and all of the huts offer communal kitchens. Some bungalows include a toilet, wash basin and shower or bath, while others and all of the huts offer communal bathrooms. The Taba also offers 20 furnished safari tents. All include electricity, a fan, beds with bedding, a fridge and cupboard, as well as a small veranda, table with chairs, fridge and a bride grill. Ten four-sleeper tents are located along the perimeter fence next to the swimming pool and all have access to communal kitchens as well as communal ablution centers with baths, showers and toilets. While the safari tents are very basic and offer no river views, they are the most economical accommodation units to overnight in at Letaba and also offer some of the best torchlit views of animals that patrol the perimeter fence at night. Ten six-sleeper multi-room guest cottages are arranged in two semicircles facing the river. All have separate bathrooms and fully equipped kitchens, stoves, fridges and include all the necessary crockery, cutlery and cooking utensils for enjoyable self-catering and all have direct river views. Two luxury guest houses are located in prime positions overlooking the river and include everything that one would expect from a traditional house such as a fully equipped kitchen, a dining room, lounge, separate bedrooms and bathrooms, as well as DSTV. Both have outdoor braai areas for entertaining larger groups. All accommodations, including the safari tents, are cleaned and serviced daily with fresh linen, towels and soap. Letaba offers a large campsite with power points for 60 tents and caravans. The ground is level and there is an abundance of mapani trees which provide shade. Campers have access to two communal kitchens that include electric hot plates, electric plugs and wash basins with hot and cold running water. There are also two well-equipped and maintained communal bathrooms that include toilets, showers and baths. At night, just like all the other rest camps in the Kruger, the accommodations come alive with the sight and smell of briar fires and the sound of insects, frogs and nocturnal animals, like the many bats that can often be seen roosting in the camp, mongooses scurrying between thickets of vegetation, owls in the trees and those that are revealed by the torch beams 
of lucky guests patrolling the perimeter fence. Visitors seeing this statue will know that they have arrived at Lataba's famous Elephant Hall, a very interesting museum and educational centre that displays a lot of information about the elephants, their distribution, physiology, origin and evolution. The magnificently mounted elephant specimens, as well as the real skulls and complete skeletons, allow visitors to examine these enormous beasts up close. Also on display are the massive tusks of the famous group of huge tuskers called the Magnificent Seven, which roamed the area during the 70s and 80s. Visitors can also see information about the current group of big tuskers, where they roam, and the measures that the park takes to protect them from poachers. The Tarba Camp offers many amenities and activities, excellent ratings for which are displayed for guests to see on a service index performance chart at reception. A popular service offered at Lataba is to take guests on guided game drives in specially equipped vehicles that are available to transport them on three game viewing trips daily. For the more adventurous wanting to see the game close up, there is the opportunity to take walks outside the camp with an armed field guide. However, the most popular activity at Lataba Camp is to spend time on the deck in front of the restaurant or the river walkway, spotting animals grazing below or simply enjoying the beautiful panorama of Africa at its best. The Taba also offers a swimming pool that overnight guests can cool off in, with lawn under shady trees for relaxing or for children to play on, while keeping an eye on occasional animals feeding near the perimeter fence. Lataba has a modern a la carte restaurant offering indoor air-conditioned dining, or outdoor dining on a large covered patio from where diners have a clear view of the river while enjoying excellent cuisine. Takeaway foods are also available for those who want to eat elsewhere. And extreme Africa atmosphere dining seekers can join a restaurant catered bush bride dinner outside the camp under the watchful eye of an armed guide. The shop is well stocked with everything to make a visitor stay comfortable and enjoyable. Included are groceries and cooking accessories, firewood, food and drinks, snacks and ice cream, clothing, camera accessories, curios, souvenirs and books. Lataba also offers the Humbavala Day Visitors Center, a separate picnicking area with lots of shelters, tables and seating for small and large groups to bry. Scottles can be rented and there's also a beautiful swimming pool to cool off in. Lataba has a long walkway that starts at the restaurant and overlooks the river. It is one of the best camp river walks in the park, offering benches to sit on under shade trees and providing lots of good opportunities for game viewing. Walkers can also follow the path downwards to meet the perimeter fence pathway, which offers an even better advantage to view animals hunting and feeding on the river sandbanks. In addition, the camp is large and has an extensive maze of roads and pathways for overnight guests to walk along and explore the camp, while also enjoying seeing the beautiful landscaping and trees, like this giant-sized sycamore fig tree with its massive exposed roots. Many of the trees and plants are name-tagged to make identification easier. Guests also enjoy seeing the resident bushbuck that roam freely around the camp, as well as the shy monitor lizards along the riverside walkway and the masked weavers building their nests, and not to mention the families of monkeys that come to watch the humans. With all of these features, amenities, activities, sites and beautiful accommodations, it is no wonder that Lataba remains one of the most popular rest camps in the park and certainly one of my top favourites. For detailed information about Lataba Rest Camp, consider visiting restcampsofthekrugerpark.com and ordering your copy of the Northern Three volume. Included are also details about Olifants and Baluli Rest Camps. Just like the other four volumes, it includes information about things to do, activities, in-camp animal birds and trees, as well as detailed accommodation maps that show which units have the best views and features or which are closest to the different amenities. 
also included is information about what to expect inside the accommodations, prices and much more. Not sure what to pack and take on your Kruger Safari? Well, I have an ever-evolving list that I've been using for more than 50 years that I would love to share with you. So while visiting restcamps of the KrugerPark.com, also see how you can download a free copy of my 5-page packing list and tips to make sure that nothing is forgotten at home. And while there, you can also visit my Bushveld store to make sure that you have everything that you need to make your Kruger Safari just perfect while at the same time supporting my Kruger Kids project to give orphan kids the gift of a Kruger Safari. And please join my Facebook group where you can talk to other Kruger lovers, ask questions and get news. Now as my thank you to you for watching to the end of this video, please go to restcampsofthekrugerpark.com and download your free ebook copy of Volume 1 titled The Lower South 3, which I hope will help to make your next trip to the Kruger as wonderful as all of mine have been. This brings me to the end of my video about the Taba Rest Camp. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up below as that improves its Google ranking and thereby indirectly supports my Kruger Kids project. Thank you for watching, enjoy the book and have a great trip to the Kruger.